One of the questions we get asked a lot is how much does it cost to paint a car? Well, the saying is true in restoration just as it is in life in that you get what you pay for. There are chains that advertise that they can spray your car. You can get a repaint for a couple of hundred bucks and you can, but there's a compromise, whether it's in materials or whether it's in preparation or a mixture of both. If you got a car that just needs a simple respray in the same color, you can do pretty good with that model. But there's ways that you can maximize the outcome. You can do better than what they can give you by doing things like disassembling the trim, the headlights, the bumpers, even doing the prep and the bodywork yourself with the help of some Eastwood tutorials. That way you take back some of the control and you increase the level of quality that you can get with a super low budget paint job and come up with a pretty good job. Now this car, this is what I would consider to be a really nice daily driver, certainly worthy of a local cruise in or a car show, and the price range that you can expect to pay for something like this is somewhere in around between $1,500 and $5,500 at a local collision repair facility. Now keep in mind things like bodywork, rust repair, all of that adds to the cost because it adds to the labor and it adds to the materials. Another thing that you're not going to get for that price range is flame jobs, two-tones, candies, pearls, things like that all add to the labor and the time investment as well as material investment on a paint job. But for in around $1,500 to $5,500, you can get a typical OEM respray and something that you can really be proud of. Now, if you want to take the step and go full custom, pull out all the stops and get a really unique job, well, the $5,000 range might be what your materials cost you for the job. I've seen custom paint jobs go for as much as fifty dollars to $100,000 if you want to get really wild and elaborate. Guys like Chip Foose, Charlie Hutton, Bobby Alloway, these guys are artists and there's more at play than just what it costs for, for the materials for the car and for the labor. These guys are artists and you're also paying for the accumulated knowledge that they've gathered over the years. Uh, I heard Chip Foose say once that we're only as good as our customers allow us to be, and that statement is very true. If you let these guys or your custom painter or even yourself, if you're doing it yourself, have the freedom to do the art and worry about the money later, then you're going to end up with something truly unique. Anybody can go out and get a job and make more money, but the other commodity that's at play here is time, and I've yet to figure out somebody that has found a way to make more time. So once you consider that range of cost and that range of investment, it really starts to make a lot of sense to factor in the cost of Eastwood supplies, Eastwood tools and equipment, even an air compressor or a turbine sprayer, as well as the educational resources that we have to offer you to learn how to do it yourself. That way, you're invested in it and you have the personal satisfaction of saying, hey, I did that myself. And by the way, this car here was shot outside in the parking lot by Eastwood Techs, who are all DIY guys, just like you. So click on the button, subscribe, let us show you how.